this is my channel MJP stories and I'm here with Cynthia she's going to start her second part and I hope you enjoy what you're seeing and I hope you want to record too hello Cynthia my story is the one that when we were at my auntie's for a few days and um, she told me to go back home grab some clothes, clean clothes and that, and, um, so I was like, all right, I went home, no one was there, and that time we, our door was broken, so we had to keep a table in between this wall and the door to keep it locked, and our window, we crawled through there to get in, um, I went right away, and went in right away and went grab their clothes the, me and my brother and as soon as I was leaving I was just entering the between the stairway and the kitchen and I heard stomping like somebody coming up the stairs real hard and like steel and st on steel and echoing through the whole house and I stopped and I turned around and I looked at the stairs and didn't see nothing and it stopped right away. And I got scared. I was like, oh my god, something's in here. And I don't know if it was like a real person or what, but I tried to turn my back and go uh, looking at the window. I wanted to leave and as soon as I turned my back again, it went louder and um, echoed through the whole house with the footsteps again and then I turned around and faced the stairs again and it stopped and I was like oh my god I was, I was freaking out and I was too scared to turn because I felt that if I turned one more time I felt like whatever that was would be right behind me so I didn't want to move I didn't want to turn my back toward the stairs and before that, I, uh, I told my mom and my auntie what was happening to me all the time when I'm by myself. About the footsteps that were coming up the stairs all the time. And they told my grandma there, because she's an uh, elder, a um, uh, strong Christian elder, and she told me not to get scared of stuff like that. I was to pray and tell it to leave. You know, let it take um, take over your fears there so I had to face them and finally that day I thought of her and what she told me I went walking towards the stairs and looking out in I looked over the edge to see if anyone was down, down in the basement part and I didn't see nothing so then I knew it was something else like not a person so I started swearing and getting mad. I was like, you get out of this effing house. You don't belong here. This is my home, my house. Whoever you are or whatever you are, you gotta leave. You don't belong in this place at all. Move on. If you're a spirit, move on to the next life or to the light or something. You don't belong here. And I'm tired of you always bothering me like this hearing the footsteps and I started crying because I, I was really fed up with it and I was freaking out because why am I always hearing this and as soon as after I did that I was still too scared to move and um, then out of the blue I heard somebody pulling through the driveway in front of the, the porch there and had the window open so I could see who it was. It was my grandpa's truck I seen and I just ran to the door, pulled that table out real uh, real fast and hard and it f swung across the, the kitchen and ran out and I was like, Grandpa, something's downstairs and I don't know what it is. I want to make sure everything's locked too before I leave and he's like um, he's not he doesn't believe any of that type of stuff and he's like 
Hey, let me be scared. And then he walked inside, and I grabbed the broomstick from the closet, and he went down first. And he went to the basement, and that time we found out our water tank was leaking, and it was covering this whole area, so no one. Uh, like it went reaching all the way over here so there would have been footprints everywhere with the water so I didn't see nothing so no, nothing was around in, in the basement I checked all the windows and the basement door and it was all locked and I was like okay grandpa no one's here and I could go and I, I told him to go ahead because I didn't want him being behind I was too scared for him I didn't want him getting hurt so I let him go up first and I start walking behind him. I was walking sideways because I didn't want to turn my back to whatever that was always bothering me. And so he's got out, I put that table back in front of the door and I crawled out. That's all I remember of that day. <laughs>